Hey guys! So in today's video, you are gonna see drawers that you haven't seen before. I don't think I've ever showed you guys my skincare drawers because believe it or not, I think I have six of them. <laughs> this is one. And here, I'm only supposed to have cleansers and masks and micellar waters and stuff like that. And then in my other drawer that is part of the five hutches, no, I have two five drawer hutches and you usually see all of those in my shop, my stashes, but not the skincare part. So this one is one of them and then the other hutch that only has five drawers, I think we're gonna go through today. Then I have another hutch, which is a nine drawer hutch filled with lashes, skincare, backups. I don't think we're gonna be able to take that one today and it's also the hardest one, I think. Um, this is gonna be such a long video because I have probably, like basically no idea what anything in here is. I'm lying, I do. I go through a lot of skincare, but I have more than anyone would ever need. So, uh, yeah, let's just get into it. Before you think that I'm like displaying all of my sex toys, I'm not. This is my Foreo Issa. Is she called Issa? Yes. Issa is an eye massager. And then I have a small little device that still works. I'm just gonna clean her off. So I am going to use a lot of uh, these ones today. If you wanna say that I'm bad for the environment, please do so. So this one is staying, um, also this is my UFO device, which is a masking device. Love this one, will not get rid of it. Same with these two, these are my bears. This is my bear original and my bear mini. Love Foreo products. I also have Luna Play, or Luna 2, I mean, in my bathroom. Gotta say, Foreo is the shit when it comes to uh, devices. So I'm just gonna move those aside because no way I'm getting rid of any of those. Uh, let me continue with Foreo. This is the serum, serum, serum. And then I also have these ones, which is for my UFO device. Used most of these. Um, this is a acai berry, which is a smoothing. And then I have here, make the day. These are the hyaluronic acid ones, but I have also tucked in call it a night and um, the Manuka honey one because I wanted to just save space. Maybe I could actually put in the acai berry ones in there as well. Yes, great. So let's see here. I'm so sorry, but a lot of things in here are very dirty. So maybe I should do a little disclaimer that if you don't like dirty products, this is not the video for you, just tune out. Uh, I will, however, clean this drawer and all of the products while I'm going through them. This one and this one is not supposed to be in here. Well, maybe this one, but this one is a collagen mask from a Korean brand. So this one I will move to another drawer. This is the Avocado Melt Sleeping Mask. Oops, here it is. And then I also have the eye mask and this is from Glow Recipe. I am needing to display these, I think, because then I think I would use them a little bit more. Same with this, this is a night mask. I went through a phase of purchasing like all night masks. Now I am currently trying to use some up, but this is the Superberry Hydrate and Glow Dream Mask. All of the make, uh, skincare in here, by the way, is, well, I have more skincare in my bathroom, which is the skincare that I'm currently using. Um, well, okay, whatever. Foot mask. Oh, these I got from a subscriber. I am so intrigued to using this. I need to use this one. And then I have two masks, uh, hand masks from Starskin. Uh, probiotics relief mask. I need to use my, my sheet masks. I have a drawer full with sheet masks. I haven't bought any in 
at least six to nine months because I have so many. This is cheek and eye patches, cheek patches. Need to use those as well. This is an amazing face mask. Um, this is the uh, from Antipodes. <laughs> I'm so sorry. This is the Aura Manuka Honey Mask. It says that Manuka Honey draws moisture to the skin um, whilst helping keep skin super fresh and blemish free. I sometimes have this in my uh, bathroom and I put this on after I have cleansed my face. And then I have this on for about like 20 minutes and then I wash it off and then I uh, apply some other skincare like my serums and shit. Mario Badesco Facial Spray Keep. These ones I really, really love. These are from Star Skin. This is the seven second morning mask. I think I'm actually gonna put these out and then I will try to incorporate them um, on the mornings where I have time because I can see that I don't have too many left and it, it would be nice to actually finish this one up. So I'm actually gonna put this on my little night or my um, shop my stash drawer location. This one I wanna use tonight. This is from Pharmacy, which is also a mask that I got from a subscriber. The light is going in and out. I'm trying to work with natural daylight. This is a vitamin C mask, just looks like this. Vitamin C is great for your skin. I've kind of stopped using it and now I have started to incorporate it again. Uh, but it says that this is a clay mask that will instantly brighten and help detox the skin by removing buildup and impurities to visibly improve appearance of skin's texture and tone. And that I really need today. This is a pure package from Good Molecules. This is not going to be here either. So I'm gonna put that with the collagen mask. <gasps> oh my God. Oh, I just saw something. The thing is, I got these beautiful earrings from a subscriber and friend, Anna. Um, she made them herself. It's Coraline and then it's a button and I haven't wanted to wear them because I couldn't find the button. And here it is. I just, I couldn't find it. And now I, I, I thought I had lost it. Oh, I'm so excited. Here you have Coraline. If you have followed me for a long time, you know that I love Coraline. Read the book, love the movie. Now I have the earrings. Now they are complete. I only had this part and I didn't only wanna wear this. Now we can wear them both. So cute. I feel like Bella Fiori. Okay, let me move some shit around that I know that I will keep. This is from Freck. This is their cactus water, which is um, chemically exfoliating. Love that. I love this one. This, no, it's not this one. <laughs> this was the wrong one. This is from the body shop. This is the overnight nourishing rescue mask. Sometimes I use this as a kind of 10 minute mask because it is really thick. Um, ooh, this is from Espa. This is a nourishing balm. I think I'm gonna put this on my night table and use this because this is supposed to be used on your legs and this is hella expensive. We're talking around like $100 for this one. So I really need to make an effort to use this. This is the one I meant that I loved from the body shop. This is the Japanese matcha tea pollution clearing mask. Love it. Ooh, I also got these from the same lady that did the Coraline mask. I really need to start using my um, things like this again. I didn't get this one, but she sews and she made these herself. And I'm ashamed to say that I haven't used them, but I'm going to. LMS uh, Superfood Facial Wash will be a keep. This one I'm almost done with. This is the British Rose from the Body Shop. Love this one. 
okay almost gone it's maybe an overstatement but you can see that it is well used and i will be able to finish this one up especially if my collection goes a little bit lower this one i also really love uh, <laughs> i really enjoyed this one this is the british rose petal soft gel toner i'm so sorry i use this before i go in my serums and whatnot in the morning time and not night time i think this one can be decluttered yes too hasn't been my favorite brand if i'm gonna be totally honest when it comes to skincare i feel like this is a great skincare brand if you are a teenager or or something like that in your early 20s um but having said that maybe i should have said that before i'm not a skincare expert so definitely take everything that i say with a grain of salt it's just my experience so this one will be decluttered Ooh, this one is i haven't dared using this in a while this is the alpha h clear skin daily face and body wash with tea tree i did enjoy this one when i had when my skin was acting up a lot more but i feel like my skin doesn't really do that anymore but i'm scared that if i declutter it uh my skin is going to start breaking out again so uh maybe pile oh this was such a fun product this is from i don't even know blisse i got this for free when i ordered something it, it was like a campaign or something and this is like a splashing mask so you could use it like after the shower and you mixed a little bit with water and then you kind of splashed it on your face and it actually was very very hydrating and such an easy way to mask so this one i actually want to keep in my bathroom uh, just to make an effort to use it a little bit more Ooh, this one I hated. This is the glycolic scrub fix from Nip and Fab. Or did I hate it? I'm just feeling the grits in this one because I don't want anything to be too gritty. Oh, I never really use exfoliating product. If I do, it's only on my lips. Uh, sometimes a little bit on my cheeks or on my chin. I'm gonna put that as a maybe this one is going i don't know what it is but this contains i don't know if it is papaya or yeah papaya papaya in skincare smells like vomit as a brand i love ren but this smells like vomit i really want to puke every time oh oh why did i smell it pharmacy b cleanse clean b ultra gentle facial cleanser is going to be a keep <sighs> Ooh, this one Ugh. i got this from lush and this is like a sleeping mask i was at a virtual event for this product but the thing is that it's kind of pouring out it says do like this apply this nourishing and calming face masks over cleansed skin lean back and relax for 10 to 15 minutes while the ingredients uh, does it does its thing rinse and enjoy a uh, well-being skin with natural glow i'm gonna keep this why not i am so bad at my skincare i'm sorry but i just i just think skincare is so much fun this Yabushke is a brand that is just slept on. I've said it before. I love the Yabushke cleanser. I finished that one. I have two of their creams that I'm using right now. One is, one, is, one is a neck cream and then one is a face cream. And then this is a peeling mask. I adore this one. Uh, so I will for sure keep it. These ones I think I can just... Um, get rid of this is from yes to its pads and you can see I have used almost all of them and they are ultra dry <laughs> oh my god that's, <laughs> that's embarrassing so bye bye oh, this one I can toss let's grab all of 
I'm just gonna be totally honest, cleansing um, or micellar waters is not something I'm getting rid of. I use it, like, I haven't purchased a new micellar water for such a long time now and I am going through them like water. So this is eye and makeup remover from Kicks. Maybe I should actually pull this one out and see how I like it. I'm gonna put this on my Shop My Stash carton as well or basket or wagon because a lot of the times I end up taking my makeup off. You know what? No, I'm gonna put this in my gym bag because I have one in there because I take my makeup off before I go to the gym after work and, and that one is almost empty. So I can actually put that one there. This is super old from the body shop. We'll keep a lot of these products look like sex toys. Okay, keep, 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 love this. Cleansing balm from Yes2 in the form of like coconut. I have used this one, don't love it, so I will get rid of it. I have so many that I just don't need it. This one I really enjoyed actually, but I try not to chemically exfoliate my skin anymore, but I actually, I really enjoy this bad boy. So I actually wanna keep it. This, the thing is, may I be honest, someone said that their Beauty Bay exfoliating toner started to mold, like down here. So I haven't, dared to use it, but I think I actually will um, because it's it's not been moldy for almost a year ever since they had their skincare brand and that has been how long and I got it in PR so I know that it ha I haven't had it that long. However, I will get rid of this one because you guys know I use a lot of uh, skincare or I, I use a lot of makeup, I mean, and this one isn't gonna do anything for my skin. It's going to do shit for my skin, but it's it's not really taking, I need a stronger cleanser. Um, I'm gonna keep this one as well because I know I will use it up. This one I don't remember how I actually enjoyed it, but I will keep it. And then this is a cleansing oil and this one I will declutter because I have so many. All of these products will go. I used to do like Instagram skincare videos and I bought so much shit and I never used it. So that's just going. Let me go through some of my, oh, here as well. Let me just go through some of these masks. This one is going to be, oh, disgusting. This one is going to be decluttered. This is the watermelon whatever. Yuck. Oh my God, it's so disgusting. This one will also be decluttered. Like all of the Makeup Revolution ones, I do believe that they have some great skincare products, but I don't believe that I will reach for these over other masks. And also I don't, I, I rarely use like charcoal masks. So that one is just decluttered. And then the same thing with this one. Can you believe that when they launched this, minced pie, I thought was minced meat. Hi, if you're new, I'm Swedish. <laughs> so minced pie, I thought was meat. And I was like, oh my God, that's disgusting. I even though I ended up purchasing it, that's suspicious. Oh, this one. This is the worst lip scrub in the entire world. I used it once, this is from Star Skin. It even looks disgusting. It's salt. Oh, who wants salt on their lips? Not me, never, ever, ever. Whoa. This is from Ref Stockholm, Sweden. An enzyme peel and face mask, which, I'm not gonna keep. This is uh, from Pure and Care. This is the ginseng mask, which I'm not gonna keep. This is from Hö. If you are into the skincare world, this is raved about. 
so, so much. I thought that it was okay, not the greatest, but I will keep it. You know, I spent so much money on that one. The This one from Nip and Fab is nice, but it smells... Oh, it smells like a man perfume or like a man axe perfume or something. So I think I'm actually just gonna bin this because I feel like giving this to someone isn't really that nice. This is the honey mask from the body shop. I love the body shop masks, but my favorite one I actually don't have anymore, which is the Himalaya one. I think I've gone through maybe three of those but I don't have it right now because I don't need it, as you can see. This is the tea tree thingy from the body shop. It's not dried up. This is hella strong. Um, so I am going to declutter this because it's way too strong for my skin. My skin just can't handle it. This is a detox mask from Ola Henriksen, which I think I actually enjoyed, so I'm gonna keep that. This is a rose quartz hyaluronic sweet almond avocado mask from Avant. Okay, I just wanted to see if it contained a lot of rose. Yeah, I'm gonna keep this for now, actually. Same with this one from The Body Shop. Love this line, Drops of Youth. I'm using the serum right now, which I'm almost done with, and I think that that will be my 50th bottle <laughs> because I just love it so much. This packaging isn't very pleasing. This is from Carbon Theory, but this is actually the only kind of um, exfoliating product I used for a long time, uh, and I actually think that this is really nice, so I will keep it. This is from Alia Skin. This is the pink clay mask. Just need to see when it comes to clays if they have kind of like dried up. Nope, I, do, I don't think I want this. I'm just gonna keep it. I feel like the brand is like, you can see them all over the place. This is the Espa. This is moisturizer, so it's going in my other drawer. This is also from Espa, and this is a cleansing mask. This one I've used a, a little bit more, and I actually really enjoy this one. It is sort of like the same thing as a clay, but it's not as strong as a like charcoal clay mask. So this one is actually really nice. I do enjoy this one. I do enjoy Espa overall. Uh, exfoliating water will keep face mask. Uh, this is supposed to cool the skin and I don't need that so I'm gonna declutter it. This is a cleanser. Cleanser cream. Brand stinking new. Oh and it sparkles. This looks very interesting so I will keep that one. Same with this one from Rodeol. I actually think I'm gonna take this into my bathroom because I think, whoop, isn't this, okay. I'm sorry, but I thought that it, <laughs> I thought that it was a little bit um, harsher, but apparently it's not. And then these I auction, these I auction, these I also got from a subscriber. This is Detox Cleanse and Makeup Remover. Okay. Oh my God, I am such a mess. I thought that these were like sheet masks or something. So this is going into the other drawer. So let me just clean this drawer out and then we can put everything back.
I just wanted to say that I'm not working on this to make it look pretty. Uh, so I am just going to put down these because these are the ones I use the most. This one I said that I was decluttering. Why haven't I done that? I just need to clean it before I'm giving it away to someone. This one and then this one I know isn't supposed to be in here because it is a serum. But I want to keep it with that one. Ooh, this one as well from Lush. Let's put that one in there. And then that one. Okay. Then these are going back here. Well, great. Now we can open and close this one a little bit better. I couldn't open it before. So uh, the maybes I kept <laughs> because I'm a hoarder. Let's go to the other drawer. I feel very ashamed because everything that I've showed you guys right now, it, it, it's, it's not even close to being it or everything i don't know how how i got to this point don't judge okay let's just dive right on in sponges sponges dirty sponge kind of clean new sponge new sponge hair product cleanser from lms haven't even used yet not getting rid of it this one though Cleanser from Foreo, which I will keep. So I'm just gonna put that in the other drawer. I should do like a project use up minis when it comes to skincare. Um, I feel like I would downsize and have results pretty quickly. This one I bought for my sheet masks because a lot of the times when you purchase sheet, sheet masks, there's so much in them and I just, have to throw away product which sucks so in this one you can just save them and then the next day you can pour what's left over in this one if you just seal it properly put one of these in the mask and then use it for sheath masks so i think i will do that packaging for my foreo luna fofo love that oh i want to use this one this is, oh, I should tonight, before I go to sleep, before I forget about it, I should just pull out all of my samples, do three different piles for like serums, cleansers, and creams, and then focus on using them up for two, three weeks or whatever it might take. I think I'm gonna do like this. I am going to sort them in what they are. So for instance, I'm gonna have night masks, eye creams, serums, day creams. And I think that that will be a little bit easier to just go through everything and to see what I have and what's unopened and so on and so forth. So I'm just gonna do that quietly while you can listen to all of the taps. Another device from New Face, which I need to clean and move to uh, my drawer, the other drawer. So this actually took some time. <laughs> you might not have noticed it, but it took some time for me because I had to look up some products. So for instance, 
This one was a day cream, yes. And then, let's see here. These ones I looked up and these are, before I say the wrong thing, it's going to promote collagen production and cell renewal. So it contains a bunch of different things, but I am actually just gonna boop, take one right now and use it because I feel like this is such an interesting product that I just really wanna use. The other one, I don't even know how I would describe it, like what kind of product it is. And then this one, Let's see what this one said that it was. This product confuses me a little bit because you could use it on a cotton pad just where you needed it or um, as your last step in your skincare routine. So you can use it all over your face. And it says that this is a gel that will help to prevent and treat acne and also minimize pores. And right now, I've talked about this before, but I feel like some of my pores are starting to get a little bit larger. Maybe it is because I am uh, working out and I have been bad at cleansing my skin. So I have cleansed my skin, but only with like my cellar water some days, and that's not great. So I will actually take this one as well. But first and foremost, I'm gonna declutter this one. I bought this on Wish, I think. Can't remember what it was supposed to do, but. I'm going to um, recycle this. So I need to take out the batteries and all of that before I bin it. Here are my day creams, here are my serums, and then here are my eye creams. And these are eye patches. This is just like a product that you put on top of your pimple if you have one, like we all do. But something super fun, I used up two eye creams. So I wanna take, this one that I got from a lovely subscriber. This is from Charlotte Tilbury. These are the only Char Charlotte Tilbury products I've ever used. So I'm gonna take the day cream and the night or eye cream. And then I need an, a second eye cream. And I think I'm actually gonna take this one from Origins. I used this quite a bit and then I wanted to use one from Farsali, which I have finished up right now looks like this. I really enjoy their ginseng line. And then I'm almost done. You know what? I'm gonna take a third one. This is from Good Molecules. This is the Wake Up Eye Gel. I don't even know what it looks like. Oh, looks like this. So I'm gonna start using this tomorrow, I think. And then I'm gonna have this as a night eye cream to brighten and de puff. This is supposed to be used in the morning. Okay, I'm gonna take this from LMS then. This is the Pro Collagen Advanced Eye Treatment. So I'm gonna use this at night, and then I'm gonna use this little guy in the morning. Then I'm almost done with my day cream, and oh, this is hard. I think I am going to take this one that I had in my other drawer, which is going to boost collagen production. And then here we have my serums. This is turning out to be a shop my stash because I just don't really know how to do it. Uh, first and foremost, I need to clean out the drawer, but I'm gonna do that in a little bit. Eye gels, eye patches I mean, I'm gonna keep. And then I had a bunch of different uh, samples here. Sleep, this is supposed to make you tan, don't want that. Hell, pure hyaluronic acid. Yes, this one I wanna use. Perfume, I'm gonna smell it and see it. If not, I'm gonna toss it. This one I wanna use from Clinique. So I'm just gonna, because I feel like if I don't do this now, I am not going to do it. I'm also w wanting to use this one. Only gonna take the ones that I really want to use. This one I don't want to use, so I can bend that or send it to someone. This one I don't want to use, so I'm gonna bend that as well. I have, oh, this is an eye cream. I thought that we could start off with the eye creams because I think that that is going to be the easiest to just 
start off with and I haven't cleansed this drawer first. What I do know is that this one is probably gonna be declutter. This is from Revolution Skincare and this contains Bak Choil, which is the um, organic or uh, I don't know how to say it properly, but I think it is like the organic or the, the product that you can find in nature that is similar to retinoil. Please correct me if I'm wrong. Just looks like this. It has a beautiful like lavender shade to it, which is, you know what? I think I actually wanna keep this one. Um, this one, however, I can get rid of. This is just from Incredible. This is a wake up balm. I don't think I'm gonna use that. This one from Freck, I really enjoy, so I'm gonna keep that. This is from the Inky List, I wanna keep that. The Stellan File, I wanna keep that. But I think I wanna get rid of this from L300, and now I need to change the battery, so. Brb. This one from Jabushke, I really wanna keep. So these are actually my eye creams, which isn't as bad as I thought it was. Um, but that is because I have my eye creams in another place. <laughs> These ones, I'm gonna see if they're still moist because my pixie ones has totally dried up. So those I just had to toss. And then I wanna see if this has happened to these ones as well because then it's no point of them just taking up space. Yeah, you see that? These are like totally dry. There's basically no serum left in them and I have stored them the proper way. So I'm so fucking mad at that bend. Let's see, these are the ones I really, really hope hasn't dried up because these are actually from a real skincare brand. Yes, these still have some serum in them. Oh my god, I'm so sorry. But these have serum in them. This contains peptide, which will make your skin protected against dehydration and give your skin a more youthful appearance. So I'm gonna put this on my uh, ba makeup basket thingy. This is not an eye cream, that's not an eye cream. So I'm just gonna remove these and I'm sorry that it is dirty in here. I will clean it out once I'm done. So here are some some of my serums unused i have gone through one entire bottle of this will never get rid of this one not this one from freck either i really enjoy freck skincare actually i have the eye cream the cactus uh, water and then also this rich bitch cactus and vitamin c moisturizer Ooh, love this one. I think I'm gonna use this one instead of the maroon. No, you know what? No, don't, don't do that to yourself. <laughs> oh no. This one I will get rid of. This is from Pure and Care. Did not love their skincare, so I will get rid of that. Let's see if I have something else from them. I will also get rid of this one from ColourPop. This is or fourth ray after hours detox face oil. I did enjoy this one, but I can see that I haven't reached for this. I, I forgot that I had it, but you kind of shape it up and it, it gets black. It says that you should apply two to two, 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 two to three drops in your palms and warm up between your hands and gently press into the skin. Don't want them. This one, I mean, why haven't I finished this one up? I used to swear by this. I am going to put this into a routine as well. Calm care, same thing here, will declutter. This one is also unused from LMS. Facial oil, nourish and hydrates. Massage three to four drops over the face and neck. And that's it. We'll keep. This one I need to put into my bathroom because right now I'm using one from Sunday Riley and I have a backup of that one. And before I jump into my backup, let me use this one up first. 
This one, I don't know if you remember, but I was so excited when I got this in my Look Fantastic box. I haven't even taken off the plastic. This is from Medic 8, and this is supposed to really like hydrate your skin or rehydrate your skin. Aurelia is also such an expensive brand. I just want to declutter all of the skincare that I'm using right now and just start using this. Glow Serum, Balance, and Glow Daily. I will keep them. I think I'm gonna keep the rest of the product that's in here, but just if you're wondering, I have some from this brand. Did some, didn't someone say that this was filled with like rose or something? Rosehip seed oil, and I am actually allergic to that. I have to look this one up, but for now I'm gonna keep it. I also, this is also for eyes, by the way, sorry. Uh, but I'm gonna keep that as well. And then this is also from Balance Me, which is a Bactulia smoothing serum, which is great to for like wrinkles. Tarte Maracuja oil, really enjoyed that one. The Body Shop, Oils of Life. Don't know how many of these I have gone through. Eco E-Cooking. I have always wanted to say Eco Cooking, <laughs> but that's not the case. And then we have some from Holika Holika, uh, Col D, Revolution Skincare, and some other brands. I don't think I have much in here that I actually want to get rid of. This one I will get rid of. This is also from L300. This one, I don't, I, I, I think I've Googled this a thousand times and I don't know. This is a smoothing lightweight emulsion. Bring beautiful balance to skin. Apply two to three drops evenly to face and neck. Use morning and night. Great bare minerals, great. But keep uh, Jabushke, obviously a keep. LMS, keep. Sorry about that. Ren Keep, Tony Moly Keep. This one I can actually get rid of. This is a moisturizer from uh, Beauty Bay that I did enjoy, but it smells so much like oat. It's all actually really nice, but I know I won't get through this, so, and I don't love it. So I will declutter that one. We have some from Good Molecules, which I do enjoy. We have this one from Espa that I don't think I've actually... <gasps> oh, I was going to use it or open it, I mean. Great. I need to clean that off. So I have the body shop. This one I think I'm going to get rid of as well because I, I, I don't use it. Um, and then Avant, uh, Corres, or how to say... Mario Badescu Seed Weed Night Cream. I also need to uh, start using, but I do just wanna clean this drawer out because it freaks me out. So let me just do that and then I can put everything back. These are like stains and like rips and yeah, it just doesn't work to remove, but no need to worry about that. So now I tried to do it in the best way I could. Here I have serums, eye creams, day creams, and whatnot. Uh, this is another day cream. This one I'm just gonna pop there. This is my acne thingy. I don't even know, I don't even use it, but I think it's great to have. These are vitamin C brightening pads from Nip and Fab. Let's see if these are also dried out. No, so I should use them. I am going to put this on my little basket and then I'm gonna try and use them when I have the time uh, in the morning. So during the mornings where I have time basically. A lot of shit on my ba makeup uh, basket right now. 
or wagon. Here is a kiwi scrub from Mario Badescu. Love this one. This is fantastic. It doesn't rip your skin and it also looks very pleasing. It just has uh, kiwi seeds in it, but I will move it to my other basket. Same with these two face masks or night masks, I mean, sleeping masks. I have this retinol tonic from Pixie. Um, let me read about this. I don't have that much left in this one, so I will focus on using this one up. And then I also have the Milky Tonic. I have used this when I have had the time, but for now I will put it back because I feel like there are too, sorry, there are too many products that I'm trying to use right now. The Sika thing is going back as well. Same with this one, this one, and then I'm just gonna toss my sponges in the back. Same with my backup sponges. This, what is this? This is from New Face. This is an anti-aging opting, optizing mist. Anti-aging mist. Okay, great, this one. Obviously I wanna use this now. Oh, and this one is going in. This one was cluttered. I have these, which is like pore strips. I never use them. I feel like they're very, very um, harsh on the skin. So I won't keep those. And then these are cleansing pots from New Face that I'm just gonna put in the other drawer and use when I have the time. And that was that. So I decluttered quite a few products and I pulled out quite a few products. So I am intrigued to see if this stays like this. I want to, oh, this looks disgusting. I want to move some of my skincare. So I have like all of my serums here, all of my cleansers and whatnot in different drawers. But I have way too many fucking things and this is gonna have to be it right now. If you wanted to see me do this again, because I think that this was a pretty boring video actually and I apologize for that. First time doing this and I think that not everyone is that into skincare and I feel like maybe the information that I give on certain products isn't that great. Also a lot of products are here because I haven't used them too much. But um, if you like the video and if you wanted a similar video but in my other nine drawer hutch, let me know. If not, that's okay. But I will see you in my next video. Hope you enjoyed it. Bye. Like if you liked it, dislike if you didn't like it. Don't forget to subscribe. Now, bye.